Hello everybody, this is Delafar, and we're back in Sunrider Academy! Uh, last time, we found out that, uh, well, we found out the truth about Lin, and we also found out the truth about Chigara. Turns out, Lin is, uh, normal, I suppose, more or less normal, and Chigara is, um, I suppose not human, in a way. She's hu she looks human, so I guess she I guess the game's gonna class her as human. I don't know. It I don't know how you're gonna. I don't know. It's just weird. It's all over the place. Um. Okay. Let's just get on with the story then. The day was over again. I entered the courtyard and saw Chigara waiting for me. Hey, Chigara. Good evening, Kyoto. Looks like another hard day of work is over. Let's go home. Um. I have something to. Uh, I have something to tell Kyoto. You do? What's the matter? Oh no. This had not better be. This had better not to be Lin's influence again. I know this is sudden, but I'm I, I'm breaking up with Kyoto now. I knew it. Even though it was fun while it lasted, Lin needs you more than me. But please learn to like her, and don't worry about me. I already have all the happiness in the world. But all that uh, was supposed to belong to Lin. It's not like it's not my. It's not right for me to enjoy my life. At Lin's expense. Stop it, Chigara. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Kyoto will never understand. I I I idiot! Chigara covered her face and ran away. Is it Lin again? I can't tell. I'm getting confused. I'm not very good at like learning the differences at the moment. <laughs> That's not good. Damn it, Chigara! I chased after her. Ah, being a girl, uh, being a boyfriend was such, so much work. It seemed as my entire life had been devoted into chasing after crying women. That is a bit true. Chigara waits. <clears throat> then when did Chigara run so fast? Please don't follow me. Chigara dro uh, dropped a bunch of black spheres from her bag. They exploded to the ground of uh, clouds of smoke as, a, as soon as I as soon as they hit the ground. Oh my god! Ugh. <laughs> Using smoke bombs is unfair. I coughed through the smoke. Just as I cleared the f uh, the fumes, I ran face in first into a force field. Ow! Ah! Uh, I'm serious. The next obstacle will hurt even more. Something like this won't stop me. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I'm not gonna shout. But oh, I might. I'll try to act angry whenever they do something like that. That might make it better. I don't know. Push myself deeper into the force field. The electric current uh, sparked at, through my body and pushed myself through. Ah! Uh, ah! Chigara! Finally, the force field couldn't handle the amount of resistance and shattered. I burst through and fell into Chigara's arms. Stop it! You're seriously making my life way too difficult. Why won't Kyoto understand? I stole Lin's life away from her. As long as I'm here, she won't be able to live a normal life. Even though I'm... Just an artificial human, that's it, artificial human. I live such a... Okay. I live such a fuller life than a real person. Even I know that's not fair. None of that is your fault. But this is the only way. Because she's my precious sister. I'll do this because I want Lin to smile every day too. What? What? You, what? Are you saying that... I don't matter. What about my feelings, Chigara? I'm sorry. I've already decided. I can't go out with Kyoto anymore. Hope this isn't a bad end. But then they've done this before. Not when I cause so uh, cause pain to my sister. Are you kidding me? I was being damped for such a lousy reason. Anger bubbled up inside me, inside of me, and got the best of me. Fine. Whatever. If that's what you want, then. I stomped away, pounding the ground with each step. Ah, oh, fuck this! I was just going home. Oh. Okay, well. So, he's single again. Hmm. What is gonna happen next? Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> okay, a little bit more story. This time with Murray, I guess, and we're gonna probably confess all our feelings and what happened the yesterday to Murray, probably. Good more. Ah, Kyoto, what happened? Ugh. I sat on my bed in a daze. 
You look like exactly like you did at the beginning of the year. Uh, oh! Marie crept up to me. Could it be... You got dumped by your girlfriend? I like how she's smiling about that. I buried my, uh, myself back into my blanket. Huh? Kyoto, I didn't mean it. Come back out. I've got to go to school. Uh... Kyoto! Marie threw the blanket off me. C cold. Uh, I guess that this means... This meant I still had to go to class. I groggily got up and headed to the bathroom. Oh, no, it's... Uh, Asuka. Eh? Kyoto? You look like shit, man. Did something happen? I don't really want to talk about it. Eh? Did you have a fight with Chigara? Right on the bullseye, huh? Oh, d Lynn? You're not very good at this, Lynn. <laughs> when the text box comes up with the name Lynn. Ah, good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Chigara. Hey, what's wrong with Kyoto this morning? Did you guys have an argument or something? Lynn. What was she doing here impersonating Chigara again? No, there was nothing wrong which happened between us. Heh heh. Ah, Kyoto just uh, stays up so late playing games all the time. Come on, Kyoto. You can't look so tired. Don't give me that bowl. I grabbed Lynn and took her outside. Uh, oh. Uh, hey, where are you going? Uh, so it really was a fight. What's that about? What's this about? Relax, it wasn't my idea. Lynn's right. It was my idea. Chigara appeared from behind me. What are you saying? Her own place isn't going to solve anything. Whatever. From here, uh, from today onwards, I'm going to be Lynn and Lynn's going to be me. Besides, it's good for you, isn't it? If we do this, you can continue on your relationship as if nothing ever had ever happened. Don't give me that. I still know. I still know who you guys really are. Huh? It's not like I really liked you much to begin with. God damn it! Even though I knew it was Chigara, she sounded exactly like Lin. Okay, this is gonna get confusing if I have to keep doing both voices. God, because I I don't know if I should do their vo normal voices or go for I don't know. Or they should both have the same voices. Just actually, that might be a little bit easier to give them both the same voice. Just one's a bit more grumpy than the other. I don't know. I'll leave it as it is. They're identical, after all. Well, you are right. It's not as if Lynn will be able to take my place overnight. I'll just I'll just have to help her behind the scenes. But it's not like it's impossible for her to eventually replace me. I punched the lockers in anger. Ow, that's gonna hurt. And you think I, I'm just gonna keep quiet about this? Certain places with your sister violates every academic policy in the on the books. I could just report you to the disciplinary um, department for fraud. I can't even say that word properly. <laughs> I go in 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 at the end. It's horrible. Not unless you want your secrets uploaded up to Hollow to the Hollow. What? What? You didn't? You don't? Yeah. You think I don't record everything that goes on in my room? What? <sighs> Lynn will take care of you now. Won't you, Lynn? Oh god, how do I do a voice? Um, eh, eh, mm. It's horrible trying to get the voices right. E yeah, e yes. Maybe I should... <laughs> Don't worry, Kyoto. I'll take good care of you from now on. Sorry, you won't ever have to notice anything's changed. Ugh, that's, this was seriously creeping me out. Suddenly, uh, just trying to keep track of these two, uh, track of who was who made me my head spin. Come on, let's go back to class, Kyoto. W wait, Chigara. Don't be stupid. The one holding you right now is Chigara. My name is Lin. Okay. A what? The hell? <laughs> Oh dear. Well, this is going to be a massive mess now, isn't it? Oh dear. Here's a bit more story. I thought something would pop up if I went to the um, science room. And so there is a bit more, and it's guessing it's Lynn. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep guessing who's who now. Oi. Don't think you can just... Ch that, that this changes anything. I still know who you are. Aww. Aww. Kyoto. What are you talking about? 
You can pretend to be Chigara all you want, but you know, you don't know a thing about science. The instant you try anything in this room, you'll be found out. Heh <laughs> heh Well, even Chigara has bad days. And it's not as if anyone will get suspicious if I spend the whole time trying to bake a cake. Ugh, now what was I supposed to do? It's not like I could just scream like a headless chicken at Lin and who was impersonating Chigara. I didn't need, uh, know whether Chigara was serious about, take, uh, about blackmailing me, or, but I wasn't ju about to take it uh, take that risk. If what Chigara said was true, I'd be finished if they uploaded that recording onto the ho onto the Holonet. Which recording was it? Was it the thing when he was doing it with Lin? Maybe I don't know. I don't know what was what happened in his r the room. I don't know. And sure, Lin could just pull the stupid act and pretend like she thought this was a uh, was the baking club and nobody would ever bat an eye. I'll have to play it safe for now. More members of the science club showed up. I decided to pretend like nothing was wrong for now. Well, they managed to successfully <laughs> get ready for something, apparently. Oh god, something... This is getting... Dark. Well, I don't know. It's interesting. I am wondering what's going to happen later on. Because eventually, something good is going to happen. Just depends when. Here's a bit more story now with Lin. It feels like Chigara's becoming more of the mastermind behind all these little plans now. God, I'm wondering how they're going to fix this. Ah, you're finished with the steering council business. Are you hungry? Or is your back stiff? We could go eat or... I could give you a back massage. Cut it out, Lin. Uh, no, it's Chigara, your girlfriend. Even though she looked and talked exactly like Lin, I knew that underneath the act, this was Lin. She wrapped her arm around me, mine. You're troubled. Please, tell me what's the matter, and I'll do my best to help you. Stop treating me like an idiot. I shook her off. Ah, I'm leaving. Why? Why do you treat me like this? I'll act exactly like her. I'll be meek and kind like her from now on, from now. You can even call me Chigara. Why are you so cold to me? Even when I'm willing to do all this? Just stepping into her shoes isn't going to change who you are, Lin. B but everyone wears masks all the time anyways. I'm sure you when you're at home, you turn into a different person when you talk with your sister. It's not like you're doing anything different from other people. Yeah, but you're taking this way too far. Take your mask off before I'm... Uh, because I'm not ever going to buy it. Aww, Kyoto. You mustn't talk that way. What if people will see us arguing? As much as I hated to run away from this argument, the only thing I could do right now was beat a hasty retreat. At this point, I wasn't sure what I could do, what more I could do. Uh, how did everyone get messed up like this? Things were going so well with Chigara, and then Lin showed up and wrecked everything. I was truly st stuck in a mad world now. Ah, Kyoto, wait! For once, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm only gonna say this. What? Uh, say this. Don't follow me. Did I even read that last bit right? Probably not. <laughs> Oh well, I'll be back when there's more story. God, this is so... I don't know what to think at the moment. Ugh. Okay, a um, little bit more story. Now that Marae has suddenly popped her head into my room, apparently. Oh, your girlfriend's here again. <sighs> you had me worried there for a second. I thought you really had broken up with her. It's complicated. Teehee. I figured as much. Huh. Oh god, it is Lynn. Um... Hi! Lin walked in and waved at me and smiles. How long is she gonna, uh, she going to be able to keep this up, act up? She sure was persistent. But with Marae here, I had to keep up appearances. The reception was so convincing that I was getting scared that I, if I uh, tried exposing it, everyone else would think I've gone crazy. Hey. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while, Kyoto. How are you feeling? Well, same old, you know. Good. What? The, what is that? Key, 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 or whatever it is, something like that. I think it's time to take the uh, fleet admiral for a walk. I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. 
May grinned and disappeared out the door. I sighed a breath of relief as soon as I, uh, as she left the apartment with the dog. I crossed my arms and faced Lynn. So, what are you here for? Uh, Kyoto's always so cold to Jigara now. I miss the old Kyoto. What happened to the one who loved me? You used to be so kind to me. That's because you're not Chigara, you dumbass. No, really, I am Chigara. I clenched my fist in frustration. She looked and sounded exactly like Chigara, but I knew it was just Lin acted, pretending. I groaned and rubbed my temples. Lin was so persistent about this. In fact, the two sisters were so identical that even I was starting to lose track of who was who. Maybe I had simply gone crazy. An artificial human being? Genetic engineering? Could something like this, uh, like that, ever be done with today's technology? Did I dream the whole incident? Maybe the girl in front of me was Chigara. Ugh. I banged my head against the wall. Of course it wasn't Chigara. It was just Lin pretending to, uh, playing me for a fool again. This will make me go, this will, was just making me go crazy. Kyoto, stop! I felt her, uh, wrap her arms around me. You're hurting yourself! Her body felt exactly like Chigara against my back. I had felt it against my back so many times before. For a moment, I thought that it might it really must be Chigara talking to me right now. No, of course not. I wasn't going to be fooled again. Tell me. Are you really Chigara? Are you the same one who kissed me on the Ferris wheel? Are you the same one who made me chocolates on Pure Day? Yes, I'm Chigara. Don't worry, Chigara will be with you, Kyoto. If you say so. Forcefully, I pushed her down onto the bed. Then, I guess this is okay too. I grabbed, I grabbed onto her and her sweater and pulled it up. Eh? Chigara's, Chigara's still a virgin. The, you two are completely identical except for that. So, if you really aren't Lin, then there's no pro, uh, problem with proving it, right? Ah, no, that's... I can't. Not so confident now, are you? Lin, I knew it was you from the start. My suspicious, uh, my suspicions confirmed. Rage welled up inside me. Would she ever stop messing with my life? She thought she could trick me, but there was no way that was ever going to happen again. I raised my hand to slap her. You can't slap the girl. Come on, that's hard. You can't. You never do that. No one should ever do that. N no. S stop. I caught myself. My heart was racing. Well done, Kyoto, but you got close to it. My heart was racing. God damn it, I was truly caught between a rock and a hard place. Ugh. What was I even doing? I threw myself off the bed and sighed. Sorry, I was just acting. It was just to see who you really were, but I took it too far. N no. It's only natural that Kyoto would be confused. Please stop being like this all the time. In the end, what does it matter if I'm Lin? We still have identical bodies, and I still love Kyoto. Isn't that the only thing that really matters? Don't say my name. I'm only going to talk to Gara, not you. But what could I do? honestly do? The twins could secretly keep switching places for the rest of their lives, and I wouldn't, able to, uh, I wouldn't even be able to know. Even now, the illusion was so good that Chigara's virginity was the only possible way of I could physically tell them apart. I'm sorry for the trouble. She reached towards me and wrapped her arms around my neck. She gently caressed uh, my lips with hers. Oh, dear Lord. It felt exactly like the kiss I received on the Ferris wheel. I pushed her away. Sorry. Leave me alone. My head hurts. Okay. Call me if you ever need anything, okay? What a busy day. Oh, oh dear. Who is who at the moment? <laughs> who is who? This is just... I hope something really good happens to... <laughs> so far, it's just all been depressing. <laughs> the beginning was so funny, and now it's gone like... Um... Oh dear. Uh. Okay, now we have a little bit more story with Asuka and either Chigara or Lin. I don't know. I'm... I've... I don't know who's who anymore. Oh, morning, Kyoto. Ah, good morning. Morning. I took my seat. 
You're finally looking starting to look better, Kyoto. Ufufu, did you two make up? Asuka, I'm telling you, there was no fight to begin with. It's saying Shigara, but it could still be Lin. Who knows? It's gonna get confusing. Eh? Shigara, you're always so cute, huh? Even going as far as trying to cover up your lover's quarrels. So, who started the fight anyway? I bet it was Kyoto, wasn't it? Asuka elbowed me. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Well, I guess. I knew it! No, 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 Kyoto. I won't have you doing that. You've got to take care of my cute little Chigara more. She's a girlfriend, isn't she? So be a man and abide by her demands, no matter how unreasonable. Aw, oh, Chigara, please don't be unreasonable to Kyoto. Be a man, huh? Well, Asuka did have a point. Getting stressed out about Lin wasn't going to get me back together with Chigara any quicker. Maybe if I played it cool, Lin would get bored of this charade and stop impersonating her. For now, the best move was probably to act casual and wait, for, uh, wait Lin out. I shrugged. Well, it, uh, it's only natural that lovers would get into arguments every now and again. It doesn't matter, it doesn't change the fact that Chigara is still my girlfriend. Uh, ah, Kyoto's right. Chigara wrapped her arms around mine. Bleh. Never mind. It's a little bit too early in the morning for me to get watch you two get all lovey-dovey. I think I'll just read the holonet a little bit instead. Eh, as I went back to her desk and opened up her hollow. Heh <laughs> heh. We should get ready for class two, Kyoto. Yeah. We return to our seats. So now he's sort of acting like nothing is happening now. Eh, it's an okay idea, I suppose. We'll see if it works out for the best. Who knows? Okay then, guys. The probably the last bit now. Let's see how this works. Hey, uh, is something the matter? You know the regional expeditions expedition is coming up soon, right? Are we uh, going to be okay? Of course, Kyoto. Why wouldn't we be? Whoever was standing in front of me looked as if she had no idea what I was talking about. Don't worry, we'll work extra hard for our academy. We can't let everything we've worked so hard on this year to go all to, uh, go to waste. Yeah. She sounded awfully confident. Whoever she was. Honestly, I wasn't even sure anymore. Uh, I should get back to work. I still have a few more bugs to fix on the matter teleporter. Is that it for now? Well, I'll do it until the end of the day and we'll see if there's anything else. Okay. Uh, this is definitely going to be the last part, hopefully. Hopefully this won't be a... Sh well, I want this to be kind of a long one, because I'm not sure how long this session is. Anyway, Asuka and Shigara came over to chat me. The culture festival's coming up, eh? It's going to be, uh, be a lot of work to put all those stands together. I groaned and collapsed on my desk. Uh, Kyoto? Uh, he's already dead from overwork. Hey, guys. Juggling clubs, schoolwork, and a girlfriend, sure it's hard work, huh? Well, of course. Oh, hang on, I've already read this. They say you can have only two of the f out of the three. Kim is sure amazing han handling all the work, isn't he? Yeah, I'm sure you can put uh, pull it off, Kyoto. Ufufu, Shigara's sure lucky to have a man like you all to herself. Asuka, you mustn't say these uh, things like that. Oh, nah. Don't worry. That was just a joke. A joke, I swear. After listening to one of Ava's presentations, hearing Asuka and Chigara talk like this was a breath of fresh air. If that is Chigara or Lin, who knows? Thanks, guys. Let's work hard to do our best and prepare for the culture festival, okay? Yeah! Of course, Mr. Manager. What happened to Kyoto? Hey, hey, people who've made this game? I don't know. Anyway, I think that's him. Better than nothing for now. Until the, like whatever next major bit of story is left. Sadly, there's no CG images, so I haven't got anything for a thumbnail. Sadly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.